Premier League Poker is back. It's in Las Vegas, and for the first time, one online qualifier will be taking a seat alongside the most incredible lineup yet. This is the Party Poker Premier League Poker 4, and tonight we find out which one of these six online players will be sitting down with the likes of Daniel Negreanu, Tony G, Phil Helmuth, and the reigning champion JC Tran in the main event. Who will win the poker ticket of a lifetime? Now it's winner takes it all. It's time to, to push it up a little bit. Take a deep breath. To play against players like Phil Helmuth, Daniel Negreanu, uh, JC Tran would be a super dream. I probably wouldn't believe that I was actually awake. One time, one time. It's about validation uh, as a player. Playing against the best in the world is a one on a lifetime experience. Getting through to the, uh, the Premier League itself, I'll get to play against 11 of the top players in the world. And I think that'll be very educational for me. Go away, I want to play one hand for Miguel. I'm running the show now, so go away and sit down and talk to the boss. That's just such a big opportunity. Someone's going to go to the Premier League, it's, it's just amazing. Don't you just love final tables? I'm thrilled to be joined tonight by a man who knows the Premier League inside and out, Ian Fraser. Ian, big moment for these six. Yeah, really big. I mean... They've probably, since they've qualified online, Jesse, they, you know, they probably ain't had any sleep. They've been looking forward to this moment, and now they're in the final, and, and one of these lucky guys is going to crack on. And I mean, okay, it's, it's a lot of money. It's a one and a half million dollar prize pool, but it's so much more than that. Yeah. It's about the prestige of the tournament. Yeah, it's, it's sort of the prestige. Like you said, it, the money don't really come into it yet. It, what one of these guys is going to achieve, they're going to actually they're going to play in this tournament with like 10 of the most famous poker players in the world, uh, which they can never ever get an invite into. It doesn't matter what they achieve in their life. They could go on for 30 years winning tournaments. They will never get an invite into this. This is their big chance to step up to the plate, make themselves famous. Yeah, and their game is going to be tested in the Premier League and their game is going to be tested tonight. Tens of thousands tried to qualify online. These six are those who remain. They've played two qualifying matches and their points converted to chips. Talal Shakerchi got maximum. He starts with a chip lead. All or nothing, $100,000 Premier League poker seat. And I'm joined by a man who'll be playing his own final next time out, Ian Fraser. Can you imagine what these guys are feeling here? Yeah, absolutely incredible, Jesse. You know, um, how they've come through the qualified online and they're sitting here now and they've got the chance to get in and mix it up with the real guys. Um, fantastic, fantastic. Even when they got here, all the way here in Las Vegas and Casino, there were 16 of them. It didn't feel real, but now, like... You know, you're right, and I mean, I've, I've been watching a, a little bit of their heats, Jesse, and, you know, you can tell they are all come straight off the internet. Scott Wellenbach has raised uh, this up raised to, uh, 40, and uh, to 45, up to 15,000 and action right away from Paul Riggett, Paul. Uh, the re-raise to 45 and oh, that was a big hand, huh? <laughs> they think Paul Riggett's a bit tight and maybe they're right. Yeah, that, that's a massive raise there. <laughs> Now, as in the Party Poker Pro final table, uh, these guys are staggered chips. And, <laughs> you know, if you're the short stack right now, Scott Wellenbach uh, and even Paul Riggett, um, just hanging around is not going to do it, is it? Well, you, you know, you don't want to get too excited early, Jesse. That, you know, there's, there's a fair old bit of play in this. Um, uh, th you know, these guys are, are playing too tight to um, make some mistakes early. Raise 15,000. Raise to 15,000. Riggett came here the hard road through the heads up matches. But he saw off the very tough uh, Italian Marco Fantini. 
Yeah, and when you get in that way, um, you know, uh, it's sort of like you're on a free roll, you know, especially if they've only just played the heads up and then they're straight onto this table. You almost feel like you're there for nothing anyway. And um, you tend to play a little bit more carefree. They're, they're almost in the zone, aren't they? Yeah. It's all autopilot. Yeah. And Riggett definitely fits that bill. You know, most of the, these guys have come through the eight-handed qualifiers. Now that all of a sudden they're playing six, which is your specialty. Yeah, but I'm sure they understand, you know, um, the, the strategy here, Jesse. And like I say, I, I don't expect any fireworks early unless we get, obviously, the matchups. I don't really expect... Uh, well, he's obviously going to play this. Cool. Yeah, and... There's so much at stake here. It's it's like from nothing to a hundred thousand with a possibility of half a million. That you know, it's just absolutely amazing how you know party have put this together for these guys is incredible. I think uh, Safina might have a, a small problem here. Excuse me, Riso, in that uh, he's never played with Riggett before. They came from opposite heats. Um, Riggett has been quite tight, although Ace Ten's a pretty big hand anyway, isn't it? No, <laughs> it's not. I mean, he could have he could have folded here. I mean, Riggett might be the tightest player, conservative pre-flop at well, the table. So. He just raised with eight four, so ace yeah. ten's a big hand for him. <laughs> um, you know, and he'll probably call one street here, Rizzo, with his ace ten. This guy's gonna bet, and I fancy he'll call one street. Giovanni, who won one of his matches, wow. started out. Second in chips. That's quite a big bet there. That's like a pot size bet. Yeah. He has to pass now, I fancy. What? I mean, is that the kind of bet that a guy could lay down a jack almost? I mean, yeah. I think it's the bet there is a bit too big for for me. I'm, you know, if I had the kings, a 32 or a 33, we'll we'll get someone. Yeah. But Riggett pounding away and. Take no prisoners. Well, he certainly is. Sure. He looks. He is looks this the British <laughs> guy? Yeah, he's from Southampton. All right. Okay. And uh, you know, he's he's well up for this. I mean, he's been so chuffed. But I, I I think that he was, the enormity of the situation was starting to overtake, the, the fact that how much fun he's been having. If you know what I mean. Yeah, I know exactly. Yeah. Oh. Um. As <laughs> I said to him before, <laughs> I said to him, wow, this one, this one's really for a lot of money, isn't it? And I think he looked like he wanted to faint. <laughs> you know, I think, oh, geez, I shouldn't have said that to him. That was the wrong thing It's the potential, say. isn't it? Yeah. You know, they got so much EV here. <laughs> yeah. Raised to 15,000. Yeah. First time we've seen Miguel Pru move a chip. He made he made an unbelievable couple laydowns in uh, the matches. Tens pre-flop to a re-raise and cool. big aces. Oh. Heads up. And you, you're already getting the feeling, aren't you, that Giovanni Safina is going to be seeing flops? Yeah, for sure. I was just <laughs> going to say the mean? same. Um, <laughs> you know, he, he played a four, five to ten jack. I should imagine he'd play any sort of connectors. And, um, Definitely. Well, this is made for big trouble for Safina. And th we saw a hand like this one of his matches. He let out with top pair, got raised, and three bet it. Yeah. Um, so Prue might get some. Prue might really get on here. I, d I don't like this this play. The lead out. Yeah, I, d I don't like it. I mean, you like it more with an eight or a draw or something like that, or you just don't like it. No, ever. I don't like it. Why? You know, yeah. if the guy pops him, if he if he does three or four, bet him. He has to pass. Cool. And I don't like this either. No, because I mean, you know, the board, the right. board is so scary, Jesse, and he's got right. ace jack. It, it, you know, it's a, right. it's a bad. He call. could make a big pot on the flop. Now, if he makes a big pot, the ace jack's worthless, right? Yeah. That's eleven thousand. <laughs> he just put eleven thousand. It's a really small bet. Yeah. To yeah, I think it's just uh, this is total inexperience, Jesse. The way he's played this hand. 
Right. And he's got told. Prue doesn't look the most comfortable in the world, does he? It'd be more if the hand was played different, oh. so like he didn't lead out, oh, you know, and then the guy bets he continues, bets his ace jack well and he calls. Then the king comes, he can then put out a bet and, and the ace jack's gonna be frightened then. Thoughts of the Premier League will dance in Prue's head. Harris with one of the famous 10 now. Evgeny Timoshenko has made quite a stir in poker, but it's the first time you've come here to the Premier League. So what are you expecting in terms of the league format and all the points and the structure? I think it's a very interesting structure. I really look forward to playing this event. Are there any players in particular who you're looking to be sat with that you're in one of your first heats? No, I don't think so. I think every player in this in this tournament is a threat. I guess the the one amateur that might make it into the Premier League is the party poker qualifier, but everyone else is going to be a very tough opponent. It's uh, traditionally been a very tough field. I think this might be the toughest field yet this year. So good luck and thanks for talking to us. Thanks a lot. Thanks. I mean, I know your philosophy on these six-handed things, even a final table, you, you almost never get knocked out first or second. You believe in getting to the final four. Uh, of course, yeah. Okay. You have to, you know. Um, okay. You've got, it's got to be a real cold deck for me to be out first. Yeah. You know, definitely. Uh, be, because it doesn't matter how many chips you've got. If you can get into the last three, definitely four, uh, you've got every chance okay. still. He's for 17,000. And basically, what Rizzo is doing right now, you think it's a little too much too early for winner well, take all? It, or? Well, this guy's got a hand, he's going to play back at him. But, it, you know, if they're going to keep passing, then right. I always, my opinion is if something's working, don't stop. Keep doing it. You know, if someone's going to keep passing to you, then keep raising until they decide to defend, then you can take another view. Well, Shakerji took a chance by playing these 10 slow, but it looks pretty good right now, doesn't yeah. it? He must, I mean, it's, it's a bit of a scary board for him, sitting there with his 10s. If he flats call, if he flat calls this, uh, he's got some game. I think almost everyone would pop it up here. Yeah, man, I don't know, why would he flat call? Because, you know, he can get action from a lot well, of draws right now. Yeah, he can. Uh, yeah, you're right. Raise. 35,000 more. I mean, even if Rizzo's got like ace king here, he'd, he'd probably have to call the 35, wouldn't he? How much more? 33. 33. But he's, he also, I mean, they obviously know each other a, a little bit. And yeah. this guy looks, you know, he looks very active to me. I've only seen him play six hands. Giovanni. Yeah, so these sort of players, you almost want to take a, a little chance and see if you oh let them hang themselves yeah. in two or three barrels type of thing yeah absolutely oh. yeah Talosh. oh he took a big gulp then look the guy <laughs> <laughs> Shekert, he took a massive gulp he is from birmingham and the more i've talked to him and the more i've watched him the more i get the feeling that he's a player oh. he's the kind of player ian who uh People think he's tight, but he's always in there raising any two, just once around, just to yeah, keep right. himself, keep him going, you know. How good's this resort, Jesse? Got the it's backdrop. beautiful. <laughs> Fantastic to be playing poker in here. If you haven't seen this oh. casino, I mean, when I walked in, my mouth dropped open because oh. it, it reminded me of, like, you know, when they used to open casinos. Elegant, understated. I mean, the lobby just, wow. Oh. And the room's fantastic. Well, we don't all get the <laughs> penthouse suite, Ian. Even though even the, even the, <laughs> the rooms are great, right? Right. Grace. <laughs> Thirty-three. Or I'm sorry, eighteen thousand. I, I think every single one of these players has an idea that Miguel Pru is the tightest at the table, pre-flop. Love to see him re-raise here though. <laughs> I mean, would that be the play? Well, the, you know, 
it's they they individually they have to take a view on you know how the, what they what information they've gained over the last two heats of of the guys and they obviously um, they have that in their mind and they decide they make the decision there and then. How many chips can Shakirchi do here, and how will he do them? That's twenty-five thousand. Oh, look at this guy! He looks nervous, don't he? Yeah, what's he doing? Looks like he's trying to keep the food back. But um, cool. The, the second time when, you know, he's just not a guy who likes to make action on the flop, is he? That's, that's, that's kind of Tom Dwan like, isn't it? He looks like he's in bits, don't he? Yeah. And Shikerchi will think that card was. Well, it's a bingo card for him. He can, he can check this now. He, you know, he absolutely loved to see that Jack of Arts come. So he's, he's, he's concerned he might be behind here at this stage, you think, Shikerchi? Oh, for sure, yeah. He's not check raising. This guy, no, no. I don't think he's check raising. The way this guy acted. Um, just now, he looked like he was almost going to go all in uh, with his bet. What's going through Miguel for his head? 50,000. 50, I mean, this I know this is for a lot of money, but I'm worried about Miguel. I don't think he can. I don't think he can push this, Jesse. With one card to come. Yeah. This is a big pot. Massive. And is there any way Shakerchi can win this pot without hitting the heart? I doubt it. I doubt it. Unless it, unless it goes check, bet, re-raise. Oh, he's taking a deep breath, <laughs> Miguel. So I said he's in bits, <laughs> ain't he? Well, now, he's only got... I mean, Prue's got 140 back. Is there any bet besides all in? Well, I mean, he's just checked now. Yeah. So... I think he, uh, he's going to bet. See, this is the only way he can lose the pot. I don't think it's going to happen, but this is, this is the only way he can lose the pot if he makes a bet here and then the other guy pushes. I guess he's trying. He doesn't really know what he's trying to get paid off with. No, he's, he's, all in. You know, he's, took, he's took the option away. And now is that bet so big that Shikarichi might start thinking he he's good here. I mean, no. could it be a jack queen here? No. Could it be an ace high diamond mm. draw? No. A missed draw. A missed draw. Diamond draw. This is a big decision. Super. Could be a hundred thousand dollar decision. How many chips has he got, Jesse? Well, Shikurchi. I mean, Shikurchi can fold here and, and have 238,000, which yeah. is second, you know? I mean, he's he's fine. Yeah. He's fine if he folds. But if he calls and wins, if he calls and wins, he, he's got to feel like he's won it. If he calls and loses, he's down to about 15 big blinds. Cool. He's called! Oh, my he's gosh! Cool. Oh, my gosh! And Chikerchi, he ran away. He destroyed him in the first qualifying heat. He run over him all in the second qualifying heat. He was the runaway chip leader. I really can't He's believe that. Stack. He's done yeah. Wow. That's, uh, I, at the end of the day, he must have just seen the finishing line there, don't you think? Yeah, what you said. I mean, he's saying, have you got to miss, you know, two diamonds? But if this guy is as tight as what you've said, Jesse, you've, you've watched all the heats. You know, he's picked on the wrong bloke, hasn't he? he? He has. And at the end of the day, he just... This is the first he's oh, seen of Miguel Pru. That's a big wow. Right there. The fight to be the 11th man in the Premier League continues from the M Resort in a moment. Welcome back to the final table of the Party Poker Qualifiers. Winner here goes to the Premier League and looking at the chips, it's Pro, who is way ahead, 400 
50,000 plus. Oh. Everyone's oh. still in it though. Rizzo on the button. Suited connectors. He'll definitely play these cards. Oh. Look at that. <laughs> wow. Well, it must have something to do with the short stack and the big blind. I mean, I don't know. You'd play them anyway, but well, we you, you don't mind taking on Shakirchi's uh, random cards for eight big blinds there? Yeah. <coughs> if he wants them. Raised to 75. We raised to 75,000. He's made a mistake and here, Wellenbach, hasn't he? He should have. He should have just opened. He just should have moved in. Well, he, I don't know he, this guy's game, but he look, he, he's giving this a good stare. The thing is, when you you see this player, um, he's made the play with a king three. All in. All yeah, in. You, you see. Oh my gosh! Yeah, it's all in on the call. So Wellenbach knew he set yeah, this up. This is what I think. You know these so type clever. of players. Yeah, smart, smart. He he hung him out to dry. Yeah. If you see a player make these moves with King Three of Hearts, I mean, you, it don't go unlogged. Wow. You know, so um, it goes straight into memory. And you bank. saw that. Ha you saw that before yeah, it happened. Yeah, for sure. Well, he w was giving him a night. Oh, look at this flop. Oh, that's unlucky. That's unlucky for Wellenbach. Wow, he shoved with that Ace Five and knew, knew he was good. Well, he's not good now. This is going to take his entire stack. Down to the ace. Shakirchi's going to be back. Yeah. Yeah. Wow! If How? I w if I was sitting at the table, I wouldn't really fancy this guy with some yeah, chips because uh, he looks like he's got a bit of a game, no, doesn't he? He's a bit lively, isn't he? <laughs> he's like one of them. He looks. He's like looks one of them like young internet players who just <laughs> never stop. You know what I mean? He looks like an assassin. Yeah, he does. And now, um, how fantastic it is! You you just get you know three quarters of your chips go, and you get them back within. Around. It's beautiful. Yeah, Shakerchi is definitely on the up and down mission tonight. Oh. It was still a bit strange out of hand played because he was like he snapped called the guys all in. Right. So he should have really yeah. just pushed his stack in anyway. Right. He he might well he wouldn't have doubled up because the other guy might have, might have passed. But it just shows you how. Um, you know, you play it a bit topsy turvy and it works All for in. you. All in. And uh, well, and about giving the ace five another go. If this one doesn't work, mm. I think he should give the ace five a rest yeah. for a while. <laughs> <laughs> Law of averages. You, you've had that happen to you. <laughs> Aren't there some hands you just always get walking with? Total. 26 more. 36,000 more. Just, I don't know the math. This feels kind of like a call to me. Yeah, I, I mean, I would call it anyway here. You know, the, the guy could be steaming with anything. Uh, Queen 10 ain't too bad, are they? The yeah. cards. Yeah, I think you have to call. He's got a massive stack. I don't hold out too much hope for the ace five here. No, I'm surprised well in back. Still sitting down. Here we go again. <laughs> well, this was your tip, Jesse, wasn't it? Scott Wellenbeck. Yeah, I, you know, <laughs> I kind of thought uh, he was holding some stuff in reserve. Oh, look at this. <laughs> Not a bad flop. Tens, though. A couple tens. Queen's no good. And losing half your stack, obviously. I think he'll um, chance the old ace five again after that. <laughs> I didn't see that coming. I thought he was going to be toes then. <laughs> it felt it felt yeah. destined, didn't yeah. it? So we're still six. Couple all ins though. I mean, not for a lack of chick m chips moving. So well and Buck, happy to be still in it, feeling like he could have more. But he's about a hundred k. Couple Italians, some Canadians, two Brits. Nice balance of regions, nationalities. Oh. Never been an Italian in the Premier League before. No, and you, you know, and you can um, you can near enough guarantee that all these guys have watched the Premier League a couple of yeah. times. Jesse, I think it's the most watched poker show uh, on TV. You know, it, it is, it, it's just the whole format. Um, the characters. Well, it's unique. And I yeah. mean, I, I think the thing, and obviously the new format this year, but even mm. with the old format, I think 
No matter what happens, no one has walked away saying that the guy who won played bad. If you know yeah. what I mean, yeah, you, yeah, you gotta do some. You gotta do something to to win this yeah, thing. Yeah, you have. Right. We raised. But actually, they did say that about Andy Black, but that was different. <laughs> 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 no, I'm kidding, of course. And uh, Safina's announced the re-raise. Now, he's only got about 169, I mean. Is this the two countrymen yeah. against each other? Yeah. Well, anything can happen in this pot, then. 25. I mean, if you're Safina, what, you make this about 70 or something, and then so be prepared to c you have to call for the rest. And I believe they know enough about each other that Rizzo will never consider that he can, can get... Safina to pass for the rest. It's the way Safina plays that he's the kind of guy that if he starts hitting flops, he is going to be a royal pain. Reminds me a little bit of uh, Ian Woodley. <laughs> <laughs> it might be the British version of Ian Woodley. <laughs> I like you. <laughs> 25. Raised to 25,000. They all aware that Rizzo has been very active, but uh, all all these chips are going in. <coughs> well, we know what's going to happen here, so. Um, Michael. Yeah. The only thing weird would be if it gets split. If it doesn't get split. Yeah. Which is not nice. <laughs> <laughs> Nobody deserves that. It is Wellenbach all in. Rizzo's got a few back. And all yeah. suits are covered. <laughs> well, there's oh, two of them. free roll for Wellenbach. Uh, all right, job done. No sweat. Well, you like doing East King. <laughs> And we're still six. You know, sometimes you, you get these final tables where they just kind of pass the chips around and the blinds get real big and it's a complete gamble. But it, it feels like there's a couple guys here who are really trying to win. It's, it's not for lack of trying. The good thing here is, Jesse, it's not like they're playing um, a sit and go for 100K. They're going to get the 100K and then it's going into another tournament which they could never, ever get an invite into. Uh, he don't hang around this guy. Wow. <laughs> this is not an easy call here, is it, for Talal? It's not automatic, or what do it's, you... I would say it's more of an opportunity. You know, um, that's that's what he might have in mind, but, I you know, he's, he's still got a couple of players there. And My way of thinking is, he's the, you know, if you've got this guy to, to your right, you, you're going to get it anyway. Right. You know, if someone else don't get them before you, you're going to get them. So wait until you've got a stronger hand. Kara's joined at the bar by Vanessa. I've got the very beautiful Vanessa Russo with me here. This is the Premier League. Going to, you're going to be playing this for the very first time. How do you feel? So I'm premiering in the Premier League. <laughs> you're excited, though. Yeah, no, I'm very excited. Uh, uh, I just took a look at the draw and figured out who I'll be playing in round one. So uh, I'm, uh, you know, scoping them out tonight, seeing, you know, if they're going to be in form, and not really. <laughs> <laughs> she's doing her homework. She's not really doing her homework. But it's an interesting structure, and it, it really does allow for a lot of talent to rise to the top because you're playing people over and over and over again. So how do you feel about the structure? Uh, I'm excited about the structure. I think that it's, um, it's going to give the opportunity to simulate a long run, which is good. Uh, I like the idea of not a time limit for blinds, so you don't have to get annoyed when people are taking a long time for decisions. There's a little you know. bit of showboating out there. Right, I mean, so having 21 hand levels, I think that's a pretty neat idea. I've never played an event like that. Um, and I also like the idea of the whole point structure in the game theory element that I'll be able to add to it to analyze and see, you know, how to handle specific situations given that. Okay, well, we're looking forward to watching you out there, so good luck and have fun tonight. Thank you. Thanks. <laughs> There will be a lot of advanced strategy decisions once the Premier League gets underway, but for these six, it's all about going for the win and nothing else. 
Second place, no good here, and Safina's got the ace. Suited. All right. Raised to 35,000. You can see the pressure around this table, can't you? Rizzo on a pretty short stack. Heads up. It's the two countrymen again. Do you like Rizzo calling with this sort of hand? Why not, yeah. You know, he knows his opponent. Right. Check. 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 He didn't, and it's, it's worked out well for him. He didn't like the re-raise, he didn't like the fold. Yeah. Check. 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 He's trying to trap him twice. Now he will bet the river, right? I don't know. See, uh, I didn't think he would. Wow, why not? What's the idea? Well, well why, why would he, you know, the only, unless he puts the guy on a small pair. Right. But then I fancy um, if if the raise, the original raiser had a small pair, then he bets the turn himself. So better chance of trying to induce a bluff on the river than yeah. get yourself in a pickle. Tell you what, I like commentating here. This is great, isn't it? <laughs> yeah. <It's not laughs> well, I, I tell you, this is this is a nicer nicer than my living room. Oh. And we got <laughs> we got four <laughs> massive big sofas here. <laughs> oh. Plasma screens. <laughs> yeah, they treated us nice. well at this M Resort. Is you still haven't been to the buffet. Hesitate to call to the buffet. Right. And Riggett, re-raised by Rizzo. And I don't think Riggett can call here, uh, from what we know about him. Yeah, he's only, he's played one hand the Kings, hasn't he? And he, uh, he, you know, he overplayed them, so I can't really see him call him with King Jack here. And if... Because he, he played the Kings in a, in a frightened manner, don't you think? Yeah. So... Can't see this being a call. If if you rig it, you're thinking it's most likely Rizzo's got an ace, or you're thinking it's most likely he's got a small pair. Well, it, he's not doing it with king ten. That's what you want him to be doing it with. So right. <laughs> that's out the window. So it's, it's quite an easy fold for him. And rig it's also not the kind of guy who is saying to himself right now, "I need to gamble. I need to gamble to win." They say first you get there and then be a bear. And at this final table, it's wide open now. Prue, though, the one in the driver's seat. Well, I was just going to say, we know what's going to happen here. <laughs> and if he gets called well in Buck, he might end up behind. Oh, he has gotten yeah, called. Down, please. He's not really far behind. This is a nice race. And... Yeah. The only good news for Rizzo is that he's got 126,000 behind. Beyond that, it's a flip. Well, we absolutely love this flop. I think he could be a thorn in their sides, Rizzo, if he if this gets through. Dodged another one. He's not feeling it. Hands clasped. Whoops. There you go. And we got our first casualty. It was a pleasure. Thank you very nice much. With you guys. <coughs> yeah, Wellenbach, he put up a good fight here in this Premier League. And uh, you know what? He's uh, to be proud of himself the way he got through. Tomorrow night, bless you. Bless you. Tomorrow night, 100%. You got it. Dinner's on me. <laughs> and the first player out of our online qualifiers final is Scott. And you're one of the people that came in having to play a heads-up match. Do you think that extra match and having to do that today is uh, was tiring and part of why maybe you went out first uh, I was tired that's true yeah. but I don't think it had anything to do with what happened at the final table um, I pushed it in we got it in good and Talal you know I, I was maybe a 55 45 favorite 60 40 and mm -hmm. he hit his card and it's a fast structure I came in a little bit short chip slightly yeah. so I felt I had to um, you know move some chips and cards didn't come my way Tell you what, Rizzo has nearly as many chips as Miguel Pru, who's he's basically lost sixty thousand since he, he won the big pot, just kind of by attrition. Mm. 
Right. Raised to 30,000. Yes. Oh. <laughs> See, he, he's the kind of guy, I don't know how you feel, but I've played with like Shivani Safina type players Same before. Point. I'm always terrified when I'm in a pot with him. Look at this, wow. Jesse, look. Wow. He's what? A, I knew it. I knew this what guy. What does he know? Guy. What does he know about Giovanni? Oh, well, you, you said that they've they've got a bit of history. They do. They, they've, they've played a couple of heats together. Yeah. Um. This guy's obviously got all the tricks. Look at that. Yeah. Took him off the ace nine. Yeah. Nice play. I just didn't think that would happen. I I, I thought I thought Safina was gonna was gonna back that up. I think Pai should be having a good look at this guy. If they got, oh. if they're gonna pick one of these players, he, this guy looks good. You know, the re-raises he's made, both of them, nothing to do with cards, everything to do with time. It's a, yeah. this is he's playing like you. <laughs> no, he is. I mean, you have to say. You'll be you know, out in a minute. Then. No, you, you know it. That, that's the way. That's the way you like to play. I of mean. course, it's, it's situations. Yeah. You know. Um, nice. He's making his own... Uh, when this guy puts his chips in, he looks like he's <laughs> already said goodbye to him, don't he? <laughs> Uh-oh. Yeah. Um, now and a a re-raise here from the chip leader. And well, when people say that to me and they look like, I want to get them, smash their head in. <laughs> That's how I feel. Look, how much have you got left? I mean, two nines, <coughs> obviously. Five-handed, <coughs> strong. <coughs> But, but, you know, Prue's not like, he's not expecting to be dominating like he is. He's expecting that if he re-raises and gets called, it's a race. I mean, is, is, can you fold here? I think he has to pass. He, he knows he's going to be beaten with this fella. Re-raise. 75,000. Oh, yeah, I mean, uh, y Riggett has to pass, you're yeah, saying? Yeah, yeah. yeah. So I was wondering if Prue could ever fold those nines. You, you can never nah, fold those nines nah. five-handed. He, he's had a tough time with it, Riggett. Yeah, he has. He's been in a real, you know, he's been in a couple of awkward spots, and he, he's passed. He got the two hands early, and then since then, every time he stuck chips in the pot, They've either all passed or come over the top of them. You know, he feels like they're taking advantage of yeah. him. Nice fold, Paul. Yeah, and good raise from, from this guy, Peru. Good raise from him. We're getting closer to finding out who's going to be going to the Premier League. For Wellenbach, it was a good run. He's out. Miguel Pru had more, but he's still in first. Rizzo, though, making his moves, coming hot on the heels for the other three. They've still got some work to do if they want to be the ones to take on the pros. Plenty more action to come right after the break. Welcome back. 16 online qualifiers flew into Las Vegas chasing the dream of winning a place in the final 12. Now we're on to the final table and only one can take their seat in season four of Premier League Poker. Ian Fraser and myself watching this frame of five fight it out. Blinds up to seven and 15,000. Pressure for the short stacks. 40. Sort of, if you're down there, and I mean, if you're like Shikerchi and you're thinking, that I've got to find a guy to come over the top of, I mean, Rizzo is a good candidate, isn't he? Yeah, of course he is. Now, I mean, I know this time he's got there the you hand. Go. Yeah, Jesse. Yeah. This is, he's going to move yeah. all in, yeah, for sure. Yeah. And he'll instant the call. And he's unlucky. I mean, Safina is actually quite unlucky that Rizzo's got such a big hand yeah. here. But it is a race. But even, you know, with the full, once he raises 40, he's not passing to this guy anyway. Right, even if he's got nothing. Yeah. Right. So, Italian v. Italian. And a spot for Safina's tournament life. For his Premier League life. <laughs> well, that's that's about that's as good as you can get. Yeah. Six of clubs, obviously. Any club. Oh. 
fact, anything but a red jack, One the nine. ace, the queen. Add you had it? Jack. Yeah. Add a straight. It's good. Rizzo's very thin here. And that yeah, that's a fiend that doubles up. Not bad. He kind of felt like he needed a little revenge on the cards. Yeah. And as quick as he got them, Rizzo. <laughs> They've gone. A little setback for Giovanni. Rigget. Down very low, about five and a half big blinds. I don't know if that's going to be the last chance he gets. It, it certainly might have been the last chance he gets. You can see what Shakerchi thinks about uh, his chip position. He's, he's not hanging around. <coughs> you know what I mean, uh, Ian? Right now, Brigitte's under the gun here. Um, yeah, you know. Um, I know you. You. Uh, I mean, it's queen six. You might not have moved in with it, but what? What's his options here? He got five big blinds. Yeah, I know. <laughs> he's got. Well, he's got one more round. I, I'd say. But I don't mind. I. You know, I don't mind letting the blinds come round to me when when I get this low because, okay. you know, funny things happen when you're in the right. blind and so you short stack. So go go down to three and just see, right? Yeah. Here comes Rizzo. Oh, that's gonna. That's. Wow. Yeah, good pass. I he like. He, I like his game. This guy. I like his game. And 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 why pass that? Too too much of a chance that he was gonna get called. Yeah, you know, it's, it's a lousy hand. Right. Uh, you got people behind you. Don't panic. Yeah. If he had 140,000, then he has to shove, or maybe. Hard to say. Boy, these guys are these guys are just completely out for each other. <laughs> the Italian maniacs. Well, they are, aren't they? They are, they, are. they are just slattering each other. <laughs> it's almost like they know each other too well. I know what he's doing, he knows what I'm doing. Neither one of us ever has anything when we raise. <laughs> the thing is, w with their stacks at the minute that and the forty thousand raise, they become big you know, big pots. Yeah. It's hard to raise less than 40,000 with the blinds like this, isn't it? So, in Riggett's mind right now, you think he, he can he can fold this. He can let this let this go through. Yeah, once. He's got 15 in, about 68 back. Uh, Talil's got about 200. He might have enough to actually make a raise and pass. Don't know. I don't like this. Because I don't like this. Well, because if the big blind has got any sort of hand, he's gonna, you know, and what, what's right. Ace Free gonna be? Right. Nothing really, you know. <coughs> I, don't, I don't like that. I'd quite easily just let that go. And then let more often than not, you let the small blind and the big blind battle it out, and right. someone might get knocked out. I'm looking forward to this, Jesse. How this is going to progress now? Um, this guy here, Rizzo, with a few chips, you know, and he, then he's got Shakira next to him and the chip leader, and then his countryman on the end. Uh, this is uh, planning out to be. Yeah, these three in the middle uh, right now, Rizzo and Shakerchi and Miguel Pru. Uh, it's going to be quite a battle. Oh. Who's this? Is this our short man gone in? Oh. Yeah. For 61. All right. And uh, Chikarchi's asked for a count. It's um, not, a, not a terrible spot here for Riggett. He found the face card on the button. Um, his problem, that's what Chikarchi's <laughs> trying to figure out, is is the bet so small that Chikarchi has to call with like anything. 61,000 total. He's getting nearly two to one. 
He's getting nearly two to one and he thinks Riggett is pretty tight. Yeah, I mean, Riggett's range is going to be <laughs> really wide, isn't yeah. it? Yeah, so. Cool. Yeah. I thought he'd call. Cool. All in and a call. He's not frightened to play this fella. No. Math says it, and the math bears it out here for Shakerchi. <laughs> Rig it on his back. 65-55. What do you, what do you feel? I feel the 9-10. Nice queen hike to take it. A couple split pots out there. Mm -hmm. Board starts getting big. There you go. A jack to split it. Nine or ten for Shakerchi to take out Riggett. Or a coin. Whoa. Or a coin, Jesse. Oh, I didn't see it! Yeah. Didn't see it! Yeah, Riggett did, and so did Shakerchi. The straight! And uh, Paul Riggett also came through the heads up. That's how you want you in a row, huh? Out of this final <laughs> table in fifth. Pretty open right now, isn't it? Yeah, look at this. <laughs> Great stuff. We, we, we know the chip lead is going to be uh, playing tight, and these three are going to be hammer and tongs with each other, aren't they? With Shakerchi having those chips now and Rizzo being short stacked, I mean, what has Giovanni got to do here? He's just got to find a place to shove no, him in. Uh, yeah, I don't think he's going to change his game plan. He, you know, he just carry on playing the way he has been. Ten big blinds or so. Look, you see. Forty. Uh, he's sorry, he's got over. He's got about seventeen big blinds. So I'll have to think. Is it the right time? Well. Is he getting called? Pretty interesting fold. I don't mind either, to be to be fair. Yeah, he's not calling. He is either all in or pass. Oh yeah, here. for sure. He, he's, Look at this, he's trying to get a read off him. Yeah. He's trying to get a read off him. He doesn't, he knows exactly how much he has behind. I mean, sometimes, um, Jesse, when, you know, if I ask someone how many chips they've got, or, you know, a lot of players ask, it's sometimes to remind your opponent how many they've got so they don't insta-call you. <laughs> do you understand? I do, I never even thought of that. Yeah, I never yes. even thought of that. That's not bad. That's what I do. I'm, uh, you know, get them to get them to cut them down and, and count them. So as they're fully aware how many they got themselves. That's a pretty good trick. I mean, Rizzo's shown a couple different elements to his game, but feel like the currents right now say that if he sticks chips in the pot he better be prepared to put the rest of them in yeah well you know this is how it is we uh, this is the first time I've seen any of these guys play close up so you get a good lead on on what type of players they are now Shikirch is going to be one of these inquisitive players and he's not going to roll over so although Rizzo's game is to keep niggling away um, he knows this guy's gonna gonna make big moves on him, so you got to try and avoid him. It's, it's a bit it's a bit tricky, but he might have to play it a different way all the time. This guy's got more chips than him. Shakerchi putting his chips immediately into action from the button with the five six. And the question is, the continuation bet coming? Sixty. Well, he has to, yeah. It does. With Shakerchi having those chips now and Rizzo being short stacked, I mean, what has Giovanni got to do here? He's just got to find a place to shove no, him in. Uh, yeah, I don't think he's going to change his game plan. He, you know, he just carry on playing the way oh. he has been. This is the real serious stages. You can nearly taste it. Surprised to see that. Oh. A lot of guys would have just moved in. 
Yeah, she's yeah. got different planes. What do you think? No, why? <laughs> Ten big blinds? Uh, well, we just said, you know, he's he's got to play this guy a bit different. He's and, play, and this right. is the first time he's limped. Right. Well, that's this is trouble. trouble. This is real trouble. This is kind of a cooler at this stage, right? Yeah, you look, look how comfortable he looks. This is why I can't. Uh, oh. I, I say it so many times that you, these guys, they just never look at each other. Yeah. Check. It's just free info, ain't it? And she can't Maybe I look a bit too close. Well, it's that is worked well for you. This is the point Long. of no return! Well, he's not passing this. Well, if it was all his chips, Shakerchi could think about it, but, yeah. right? I mean, yeah, exactly it's right. not enough of his chips to worry about, really. He's That's passing top pair, right? You're right, yeah. I mean... It's tough, don't get me wrong, but the way he's played so far, he's not passing. Right. Not the worst stack size. Huh. Not really sure. I mean... How often would he have played a queen like this, Rizzo? Would he have check called? The four help you. Seem to get a read on the four. Wow, is he gonna pass? I'll tell you, it is a funny sort of raise by Rizzo. Oh. He's called, cool, yeah. I, I didn't think for one minute he wasn't gonna call. There's still a card to come, however, and this guy can get out of it. One time. Rizzo's all in. The Italian, Giovanni. Help. He's not feeling it, is he? No. Whoa, there we go. One Just time. Time. Wow. <laughs> wow. Buongiorno. Back wow. on with the glasses. Get them glasses back on, son. As you have said, this is a player who can clearly do some damage with some chips. He can hardly believe it. Wow, what was that worth? Yeah. Well, yeah might, that might be that worth half a million. <laughs> what was that worth? Five outs, I really have to use my one time. You're my angel. Can I have your number? <laughs> nice catch. Sorry, mate. I mean, I'm not sorry, it's not true, but <laughs> it <laughs> no, sucks. True, that's right. <laughs> but it sucks. Is that an omen? If so, he'll take it. More to come after the break. Welcome back to the Party Poker Qualifier Final, this prelude to Premier League Poker 4. And just one of four to go through to the main event. Prue's got the chips right now, but Rizzo's got the got momentum. First, How exciting right? would it be for right, that young sorry, Italian sorry, sorry, to be yeah, in yeah, there? Yeah. Sorry. His charm against the likes of Tony G and the Daniel Negreanu. Huh? The emotion, emotion talking. No, no. Uh, they're chatting. I just didn't see the, the power tension of the is over there, so I didn't see the big blind. I thought Ace, it was just like small blind yeah. raises standard here. And Miguel obliges up to 50. Eight. Bouncing around. 50? Yes, sir, 50. He's focused. Fold. Prue has, it's been an absolute clinic in how to actually hold on to your chips and increase yeah. them slowly since oh. he got them. I think he's played four <laughs> or, or maybe five hands. It's <laughs> the wall of Gibraltar. Yeah. Jeez. <laughs> <laughs> we certainly wouldn't want to make a living off Miguel, would you? I mean, <laughs> God almighty. He's a funny one. Don't like this, playing these into these Raise two guys. You know, they, they could come back at you with almost anything, and the twos ain't really any. And they're, they're, they're both, mentality-wise, they're oh. ready for it, aren't they? They're ready to uh, start yeah, the push. Wow. And call. He's just flat-called him here. 
hey, to what? me, that's uh, that's a really bad play into this guy because you know he's a rock. I would I would uh, rather pumped it up a little bit there. Now he, he's knackered. Check. Check. Very interesting. I mean, has Prue just given up on this check. one? Or yeah, oh check. yeah, here check it down for sure. Wow. Check. Check. That is 60. Wow. Oh, he's managed my to get a bet out of him. Gosh. Now. Well, it looks like a king. Looks for all the world like a king. Yeah. How many has he got, Rizzo? 280. He's starting to hammer 280, isn't he? He's passing. He's passing. I call. He's called. Uh, call. What do I know? I'd probably pass there. Nice Jesse just looked at that and said, yeah, but king what? You have a smooth pair. More Premier League players are gathering to watch this and see who gets through. Phil Helmuth has played all three previous Premier Leagues, so you're no stranger to this format, and you are pumped to be here. Yeah, I really am. You know, I mean, I feel like, uh, you know, 2009 was my worst year in poker ever. I actually lost money. I've never lost money. And so, you know, it's, it was very frustrating for me poker-wise. And so I think I've been in a little bit in my own way. I think a lot of people are very self-destructive. I'm not, but but I think that no matter who you are, you're going to be in your own way sometimes. And I was a little bit more than I wanted to. So now I'm ready to just you know move forward and take perfect steps forward and play great poker and kind of show the world what I'm capable of. So I'm feeling very very strong. Do you feel like the league format um, suits your style of play and your understanding of poker? I mean, either way no matter what format they use, but it's, there's more skill in a tournament that lasts longer. And so this year they have triple chips, so there's gonna be more skill. And that, that is really a big factor. It's an important factor to me. So, I mean, the last two Premier Leagues, I probably didn't play my best, and I was a very unlucky in a bunch of them. But, but, but that was then, and, and this is now, and, and, and we have more skill this time, and it's time for me to, uh, to win one. Bring on season four. Good luck. Thanks. Thank you. It is the dichotomy of the Premier League. So much buzz among the players. So much tension at the table. Tension's what we got right here. Look at Miguel Pru. He can barely move. He's so locked in. Or he's nervous. That's a big hand for Rizzo. And he's the kind of guy who just plays with his emotion. Just lint here. This is a trap here. This is definitely a trap here. And he's going to check yeah. it. Careful, careful, Talal. Careful. You can't resist, can he? How can you? How can you resist? Twenty-five thousand. He wouldn't respect himself if he resisted. See, that's the interesting thing. I mean, that's why Shakirchi couldn't give him credit for for a queen. He thought if he had had top pair, he would have check raised me on the yeah. flop. Yeah. The, the story just didn't make sense. But with um, you see, with Rizzo's game, how, how he's been so far, he's probably better off min raising pre-flop there yeah. with the ace king. Sure. Because then this guy don't give him credit for a hand. He could yeah, pop him up. Yeah. Half a million. He's the first player to half a million. Look at this. Half a million. <laughs> they picked the right graphic for him. Look, big smiley face. <laughs> and, uh, yeah, picked the, his aggression level pretty high, too. Here to go. All Imagine, I mean, Shakirchi oh. had everything <laughs> working for him, and now he's, oh, Oops. now he's, look. Still easy, though, is it? Uh, oh, I don't know, it's, you know. We're seeing the cards, Jesse. It's, to me, it's not easy. I know a lot of players would, would snap that off, but he's got another player behind him still. And, and the other thing is you're, you're never winning this pot without having to win with C5 cards. Is that mm, yeah. part of it, too? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> What a He's pass. passed, you see. What a pass. But 
If he Maybe, had, um, if he had to dump that th that sixty thousand off, he's calling, right? Oh yeah, yeah. I mean, um, it's a completely different story having two hundred back. And if he was in the big That's blind, maybe it's an easier call. This is the, this is the most stressed Sakerchi has looked all night. Yeah, have a look at him. Yes, sir. Yeah. He does not look happy. I wonder if Safina sees that. Did you see the He's guy no in the middle, Pro? He immediately leant back to let, <laughs> to let him have a good look. Do you know what I mean? <laughs> oh, dear. Wow. They're willing him to call. I, I like I like what Safina's is doing right now. He's he's giving your man a good look. He's he's really putting him through the stew pot here. No matter what happens, <laughs> I mean Shakerchi has been so cool. His bottom lips out. He's definitely yeah. thinking about oh, calling. Yeah. Oh yeah. Oh man. Oh man. I really thought he was going to call I, then. I did too. I did too. He must have talked himself out of it. Really talked himself out of it. Well, it's a shame. Shakira must be feeling. Yeah. Chuffed him in balls, isn't he now? I, you, I mean, there's a lot of things I like about Safina's game, but just from this is a tough lineup, and I kind of think that if he's going to win this, he's actually going to have to make big calls. If yeah. you know what I, you know what yeah, I mean, I that's the way that. he's going to. You know, he's not going to out rob these guys or. You know, come over to tie. Yeah. He's got to catch him. He's got to catch him with their pants down. And very aggressive against Riggett's big blind, but I think he knows that Giovanni's another story. You see, what was the. Um, uh, he's put out 40,000 here with a King 5. Um, what was it to call the the last uh, all in? It was a. Uh, it was about 150 yeah. or so. I mean, it, it would it would have everything he See had but 40. Yeah, it, you know, it was it was a lot of stick his chips. To stick yeah. 40 grand out, out there now. Yeah. You know, um, it's just what I'm saying. That was a that was a spot. I know it was a gamble. Like, you know, a lot of times he's looking at an ace or something like that. But I kind of think that was his gamble to win. You know. Now look, now he's gonna he's got 150 thousand left, Safina, and he's gonna be trying to play a pot to get the 300. You know, before he was gonna be getting over, he's gonna be chip leader like clearly. Yeah. Chip leader have knocked Shakerchi out of the game and and only have to beat the other Italian. And I mean, the first thing to do is, is to get to the final three. That's Easy a, game. That's a pretty from the final four, I guess. Yeah. Oh. Well, she cares. She's got good eyes for him. Not letting him breathe there. Yeah. Rizzo has limped in. Every flop with Shikerchi. And Check. did have Check. the ace the last time he did it. Check. Check. They've kind of been running circles around each other. Check again. <laughs> nice. Check. Nice turn Check. card for Giovanni. Check. Now what? Well. <laughs> It was absolutely perfect for him, wasn't it? <laughs> it really was. You know what I mean? It's a real bad bet from Rizzo, <laughs> isn't it? The 20,000 on the end. It's a diabolical <laughs> bet, but the only card that can come on the river to get a call, and he gets it. Yeah. Unbelievable. It's a, it's a perfect value get bet against exactly the 7-5. Yeah. Well, he's had a miracle again. <laughs> wow, he's cracked 600K, too. And the other players will have noticed that and look at their own stacks and think third ain't worth nothing it's time to get moving certainly Shakerchi and Shafina oh. half the chips in play means Rizzo has an average stack oh. for head up oh. raise all in 
Is this our man all in? Yep. Much. And Prue with nothing but tough decisions against yeah. Shikerchi. I don't know. Is this a prediction time? Well, different than the ace ten because there's nobody behind him, right? Yeah. I think it's probably going to be a call, and uh, the nine ten is going to win the hand. And it, or am I just saying what I want to happen? <laughs> You know, you can't keep rolling over in this spot. Um, you know, he has to make a stand. You, you can't win it unless you got the chips. Total. I call. You're, You're not call. in bad shape call against any call. ace. Right. But this is what we thought was going to happen. Yeah, and I, and I think and in his mind, Prue's thinking, I've got this guy, Shikerchi, has to be stopped sooner or later. Yeah. I mean, next time it's going to be more of my chips. You know, it might be all of my chips. I'm going to have to try my chance now. It's a big pot, though. And Shikerchi's been magical all in. Magical. Can he keep it going? This is going to be a monster. There you go. Wow. Yeah, there you go. He doesn't want to make two pair. Shikerchi, Prue now behind. Sh Shikerchi and Rizzo are just destined. Look at his face. He knows it. Not two sec outs in one day. He knows it. Yeah. It's going to be a three. Oh, oh, Jesse. Ew, wow, man. we would have lost. Wow, I cannot believe Talal Shakirti is out. Yeah, that's a shame. I, I really wanted to see this guy heads up. <laughs> he can play. Yeah, he's got a great game. Great game. Back to Birmingham. And for Miguel Pru, he's made some gutsy calls when he's had to. Three ways now. Safina trailing. Yeah, game on. There is no prize for second, and there's no prize for third. We've lost Talal in fourth place, and you seemed quite fearless out there at times. It was a lot of fun to watch. Who do you think might be feeling the pressure now there at the table? Um, I think Miguel is playing very cautiously, mm -hmm. and uh, that means he's he's quite easy to bluff. But on the other hand, you know, he, he, he when he's playing a hand, he's usually got something. Um, but so I think he he maybe is feeling some pressure there. Uh, the other guys, the other the two Giovannis, I think, uh, you know, I think, I think, you know, they know they have to gamble, and and they are when it's necessary. Well, it was a lot of fun to watch you play, as I said. So thanks very much for talking to us, and commiserations. Thank you. Thanks. Already going on in the bar, the Premier League players have gathered to talk shop, and we'll be seeing who'll be joining them in just a moment. Welcome back to Premier League Poker 4. We're close to finding the online qualifier who's going to take his seat in this year's main event. So let's get back to the action. Play one hand. Well, the drinks have really hand. kicked in now. Tony G's on this qualifier's final table. Oh, I love to play one hand. What are you talking about? Go away. I want to play one hand for Miguel. One hand for him. That's it. He can play it for me, don't you? Here you go. Okay, I'm playing. I'm seeing the big line. That's it. I'm seeing the big line. No. He will play. I want to see the big line. I want to see the flop. Just see the big line. Peekaboo. In this tournament, you have to be an online qualifier. Okay. No way. I want to see the flop. He just see it. He just sees the hand. That's fine for me. I'm running the show. Not you. Go away and sit down. Talk to the boss. Okay. Will you please leave the table, Mr. G? Okay, right, give him a round of applause, Tony G. I try, man. <laughs> Do you know what, Jesse? I can almost see um, this tournament is so exciting. And this year, you know, bringing in these two little mini leagues as well, you know, the, the, for these guys, the qualifiers and, and the party team pros. I can see this becoming a bigger tournament, you know, and, and maybe having these uh, televised stages in the future because I think it's, it's fantastic. Great viewing. But these guys have probably played, um, you know, they've already played oh. satellites. Yeah. And won to get through to these stages, then won again, you know, accumulate the points. Call. It's a, a long Pizza. journey. You know Rizzo. Uh, yeah, did you hear about that he folded uh, to leave himself one chip in the in the heat. No. You know be, because uh, 
Well, the, the point said he should do it. It was the right move. Check. And when you peel off the flop here with the jack seven, in the back of your mind, if you if you find the kind of board to make a move on, you're yeah, gonna, right? 60, yeah, he's gonna be in big trouble if he tries in. Raised to 170,000. You saw that coming. Did Prue. Prue might fold a lot of hands here, but he's not folding the nines, is he? I shouldn't think so, especially not to this guy. I mean, in, in Prue's mind, would Rizzo ever play like queens or kings like this? No. No, I don't think so. I'm on in. Yeah. Re raise all in. You know, you know this guy's, you know, he's got the moves to um, come over the top and do this stuff. He's been watching, hasn't he? Yeah. You know, he's been, as you say, filing it away. And, uh. Nice play. You said 170, right? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's short. Three short. Three short. All right. <laughs> he doesn't miss a thing. I tell you what. I bet he's an accountant. <laughs> he might be nervous, Miguel Pru, but he's uh, he has not missed a thing. I bet he knows how many chips he's got too. They're all here. Kara's now talking to a slightly tipsy Tony. This is the yeah. Premier League. Yeah. We're watching the final table for the online qualifiers, course, right? Course. Now. You've brought a bike. In fact, I hear you brought two bikes here. So well, what's that all about? Well, I want to ride you on the bike. I want me and you to be on a bike together. So it's a tandem. It's a tandem. Yeah, we're going right. to have so much fun here. I've been getting ready. I've been getting fit for you. Oh. So yeah, lots I'm ready. Lots of bike riding. Yeah, lots, oh. of, lots of bike riding. Okay, well, and other riding. <laughs> yeah, it's not going to happen here, I'm afraid. It is a party. Someone's had a little too much to drink, I'm thinking. Yeah, why, no. why do you think nasty? I mean, I'm like really like clean. I'm thinking really? good stuff, bikes and rides. And gotcha. So it's positive. just, it's in my head. It's in that your this, head. Oh, the problem's God. with you. It's not with me. I'm, I'm utterly embarrassed now, I got to say. <laughs> Right, now I hear you brought a trike as well, a tiny little bike, who's that for? Okay, well that's for Lu Lukey Schwartz, oh, no, little Lukey. Lukey, Lukey? yeah, okay. he needs a trike because he's still battling to ride the big bikes. Oh. Still a little boy, you know, and he, like I heard what he did to the airlines, like someone called me from the airlines, I saw the message, he was kicking the stand and abusing them and it didn't let him on a flight, so he had to fly economy and he sneaked into the first class. I mean, this guy's a kid, he's an absolute <laughs> raving kid, lunatic right. kid as well. Are you going to teach him a lesson at the table then? I'm going to teach him a lesson. Okay. Teach him a lesson at the table. Thanks very much. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you very much for being here. You're very welcome. <laughs> he is larger than life and full of force. One of these three players is going to be subjected to a barrage of verbal abuse like they've never had before and probably love every minute of it. Now that's not what they're thinking about right now. Locked into the pot and the win. Shafin will need every bit of luck from that duck. He wants to get through here. Shafin has only, only had about five big blinds and he managed to only put a half of them in. So What a story it would be if Giovanni Safina came back and won this. Yeah. I mean, don't tell him he can't. He, he's, he looks like a guy who's got faith in himself. Well, the ball sounds lively, Jesse. I think oh, the, yeah. the yeah. ball's yeah. hotting up behind. I said, uh, when you have two in it, ship me some yellow. Ship you some yellow, yeah. Oh, yeah, you can, you can see out to the casino there. Yeah. Look at that. This is a nice hand for Rizzo. Yeah, you know what I mean? See, the very next hand he picks up Ace Queen. You, you don't need to get jiggy with Jack Seven, you know, in the, in these spots. The chips are so valuable. You know, there's something about. This is it for Safina. It's 60. He could make it 103 more, which means he's he's never getting Rizzo to fold pre flop. No. Maybe there's. If he thinks 65. it's. Yeah. Thinks it's too big a hand to fold uh, here. 
I just throw these cards away yeah. straight away. What what is he doing calling? But that now that he's stack. now that he's done this, he has to shove if he misses, right? Yeah. And and then check if he hits. I mean he has yeah. to stop and go here. He cannot check and fold. Well he's got his perfect flop. He's got a shove, right? I wonder if Rizzo will call. Oh, Whoa. man. I don't, see, this is what I'm saying, Ooh. Jesse. You can't. What? You mustn't be calling uh, your chips with 9, 10 when you've only got the little amount that he's got. Yeah. No. And then the. Oh. It's, I mean, that's, that's, it's that's terrible. That's probably. In the top 50% of flops, you can see with 9-10, right? I mean, I don't I know exactly. It's you not, know, certainly not a horrible flop. I think flop. I got a recount. These, um, these chips, Jesse, at the minute, they're free-handed. you got to treat them like they're bullets. Oh, they're one short. You know, actually. and he's just given half his bullets away. <laughs> so when he fires, he's going to be firing blanks. Blinds going up very soon, and Prue and Rizzo. I think this Prue reminds me a little bit of Mike Saxon. You cannot trap him. Yeah, I know what you mean. It doesn't get any more exciting. Two Italians and a French Canadian, one of whom. Wow. It's real playing in the Premier League of Poker. Miguel Pru, of course, the chip lead. It'll be 115,000 more to Pru. And this, this is a how you feel. Getting over six to four. 145 total. An ace five never too far ahead of anything. But it is ahead of what Safina's got. Two middlers. <laughs> this casino, this bar, this Ravello is getting so packed there with spectators, the pressure. How can he even think? Made good decision so far, though. He's called. It is. It's a good decision. And more and more, you watch Miguel Pru. His face goes through some awful contortions, but the brain is working well. That is Safina. He's hit. 305,000 will be the double up. This is really going to level the scores three ways. That'll seal it for Safina. And a good call by Miguel Pru, but sometimes a good call and two shoes will only get you pain in the foot. Maybe this is how tough it has to be in to get in the Premier League. Now everyone's got a shot. Yeah, well, I'll tell you the worst thing about this, what's just happened, Jesse, is like the other two, I think they've just had been on a break, and the other two will be sort of counting their chickens, saying, you know, we're almost heads up now, and this guy's just threw the spanner in the works. <laughs> yes. You know, and, and now it's a, it's a completely different game again. And you always got to be care of the guy who's hanging around, right? You know oh, about these sure. poker yeah, tournaments, yeah. Yeah. I mean... Wonder what Prue's plan is here. I don't think he's um, going to change his game too much, Jesse. You know, we've we've seen how he's been playing. He, hundred percent, he's the tightest player on the table. These and guys that, squared off once before early in this final table. Um, I think it was Ace Jack against Jack Ten or something like that. Boy, that's the perfect card for Giovanni. Wow, what a perfect card. <laughs> There's Tony G. Where's his bike? He's got Did he a come bike. On the bike. Oh, he's got a bike. He's got a trike. I mean, there's uh, <laughs> <laughs> I think he's got the bike for the opposition. Is that right? Yeah. He's going to try and ride everybody out of Premier League on it. The pressure of the final table was one thing, but they got three handed. They took a break. This bar is packed and there. Everyone's telling him, oh, he can go to the Premier League. Exactly. Yeah. I mean, yeah. 
you know, it's you're pressure. Just, yeah, they're starting to get the buzz of it. I mean, oh, here we go. Hold on, we got a hand. And, you know, Giovanni Rizzo has come over the top of Safino so he has, many times. Yes, Jesse. But uh, the dynamics have changed a little bit now because they're only three handed. You know, it's, it's, he knows this guy ain't going to break out with um, as much rubbish as what he was earlier. It, you know, it's a, it's a bigger, bigger decision now. He's game, isn't he? He certainly is. Now, he decided not to re raise. I, I don't know why, but he's, he's caught something. He just wanted, uh-oh. Yeah, oh, he's in massive oh, trouble. You cannot Jesse, get away this is, from this. Well, this is what I was saying to you. He, he needs more control in his game because, right. uh, you know, he's going to go skin. So he, he's, he's called there. The same reason he's called before when, when Miguel had the big okay, hand. 60, to make a play yeah. on the flop. Yeah, right. exactly. I was going to say, if he can put in a small bet here, Safina, he's going to move all in. You see, it's this loose play, Jesse, which you, you cannot do. He's it's just he does downfall. so many things yeah, so yeah, right, Giovanni Rizzo. Yeah, exactly. And he knows he's in a bit of trouble well. here. It's, it's Safina who's all in here, but look at how big the pot is. Massive. Oh, that oh, was close. So close. So close. Oh, there you go. You know, he's just be kicking himself a bit there, Jesse, really. You know, the, the, the guys broke out. As you said, it would probably be better off, like, min raising him back, mm. you know, or passing with that sort of hand. Because if he min raises him and the guy moves all in, he, it's an easy pass for him. Whereas he calls with Jack A, he ain't got a clue where he is. You know, he, he hits one of his cards and he's going to do his money. Well, he has done half of it anyway. Kara with Luke Schwartz. One of the new faces here is Luke Schwartz. Now, you have never minced your words about players. Tell me what you think the online qualifier has for a chance here against this lineup. Um, probably not the best of chances, but poker's a luck game and a skill game, obviously. So if he plays well and runs, uh, runs well, he should do all right. Well, OK, answer me this. What are the good, who are the good players in this format, do you think? Um, in this format, I think I'm, I'm a good player in this format. Definitely it's triple stacked, it's deep stacked, so I could be using my board reads and stuff like that in big pots very well. I could be putting pressure on three barrel bluffs, which I don't think that many of these players can do. Um, who else could be good? Well, JC Tram won it last year, so I assume he's pretty good. Um, who do you think? played a lot of these, so he might be, he might be on form maybe. Well, who do you think would is not going to do well. I'm trying to say this in a nice way. Who do you think is not going to do so well here? Um, honestly, <laughs> yeah. um, maybe Vanessa Russo, <laughs> maybe Tony G, maybe Phil Helmer, maybe the online qualifiers. Yeah. Um, I think. Oh, I forgot about Timoshenko. He'll probably do quite well. He's very good. He's a very talented tournament player. He doesn't really make any mistakes. But well, we got a real mixture of players here, so it'll be interesting to see how you guys feel each other out. Thanks for talking to us, and good luck. Okay, thank you. Thanks. Rizzo down to just 150 now. All in. Yeah, Rizzo's, Rizzo's all in, yeah. Cold. Oh, there we go. Well, he's getting a he's call here with his ace. He's called. He's called. Oh, oh, he's got the, he's got the pair. He's got them both. He's not getting out of this one. Well, I'll tell you what, Ari Udini couldn't get out of this one, Jesse. I think um, it's a shame, but I think we've seen the end of Rizzo here. We have in the other Giovanni, Giovanni Safina. Can you imagine? It'll yeah. be him in the Premier League. Oh, wow. Oh, uh, he, he, he could, he could give some problems. I'll tell you what. It's amazing, Jesse. This is why this game is so beautiful. Oh, he's got a squeak. He's well, got a squeak. The, the pair on the board takes the three out of Listen, play. if anyone can hit a five out, it's this guy. Has to be a king. Can only be a king. He's, he's done well with it before. No, nah, that's it. Nice playing with you guys. But Giovanni Rizzo so close. And now Safina, he's chip leader, Jesse. Amazing. Amazing. I mean, amazing. 
God, Ace isn't that big one. What the hell? Yeah, sure, sure. What the fuck? Big blind aces? Ah, yeah. thanks. Anything but the aces. Jesus Christ. He's, he's got a two to one chip lead over oh, Miguel Look, there's the smiley face. <laughs> we say goodbye to Giovanni in third place, unfortunately. You were really playing for first all the way through here. You had a lot of moves and you showed us those moves and we enjoyed it. And uh, we're so sorry to see you go. But how was your experience here? It was a great experience. Like you said, it's a winner takes it all. So I don't think that there was much any m much more I could do. Um, I did one really spewy move with a Jack Seven on a really dry board against the other guy. I had a bunch of chips. I didn't like myself in that spot. Everything else, I was spot on. I did good reads and uh, raised good timing. I don't, nothing to complain except that hand. It's all looking very serious. Miguel Fru and Safina go heads up after this. There were 16. Now there's only two. So close they can taste it, Ian. And Safini. Yeah, this is uh, the nitty gritty, Jesse, as it were. Look at this Safina. He's come from nowhere. Yeah. Absolutely nowhere. You, you know, know I, if anyone thinks they're on a free roll, it's this guy, right? And it, it's, it's all about just seizing the moment when it comes to you, right? And then not wasting it. And you gotta say Safina hasn't. I think um, this guy here, Frui, he's, he's got to make a stand early against Safina, um, for sure. Otherwise, I, I, I think he's gonna terrorize him. I mean, he came back against uh, Fabian Pongratz in the, in the match. Uh, he had to win. He was about four to one out, chipped heads up. So, you know, in his mind, he can do this against anyone. But uh, what you're saying is, yeah, this is the this is the difference, uh, Jesse. Th this guy is um, prepared to to limp when he's got the button, um, and I'm sure the uh, Safina's not. You know, he'll be at least min raising. I'd be wanting to set my store out early here, and you know, and make a stand and, and let the other guy know what's what's happening and he's going to be in a bit of a battle because you you don't want to get into one of these games here um, there's so much at stake you don't want to like check 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 yeah what's going to happen now if if Safina bets there Pru, I guess it has to call this is a nice bet you know he's he's refing the ace um really you know i don't think he could get rid of a 10 in that spot so he was always in good shape in that hand he's got an interesting post flop game pru because it's a bit weird you know he made that he's made some really weird river bets um he's made some bizarre calls on the flop and most people would have raised he's He's confusing a little bit. Yeah, he he is obviously, and uh, even more so for the guys down at the table because they ain't been seeing the cars yeah. like us. So, cool. see, the, you know what we were saying about um, the starting of a level and, and making the making the standard raise, uh, monkey see, monkey do, and this normally happens with the heads up. You know, they start limping on their button. I don't I don't like that at all. No, and it's it's not Safina's game either, is it? I mean, Safina's game is going to be the battering ram. Yeah, you know, and, sure. and he's he's going to do it well, isn't he? You know, especially now, that, you know, they limp on the button and then they check every street. It, it, they might as well just do turnovers for twenty thousand. <laughs> do, do you know what I mean, though, Jesse? It Apple is, pie. Yeah. You've got to play poker if you want to win something. You've got to play poker. Yeah. Although. This is the way Pru wants to play poker, if you know what I mean. It, you know, he's now lulled Safina into his game. And I don't know. I know Pru looks nervous, but he hasn't exactly played nervous. You know, if you close your eyes and just see what he's done, he's played a good, steady, aggressive game. Yeah, yeah. You, yeah, you'd probably pick up a wrong tail with this guy, wouldn't you? Um, he does look ultra fidgety. Uh, he never looks at ease. 
You know, he, even when he's had a big hand, he didn't really look that easy. Uh, but he has made the right moves, Jesse. He's moved all in, and, and he's been right every time. Yeah, he's made a couple of steals. He's made a couple of, you know, he tried to make a bluff. It didn't go so well, but he's... Um, yeah, that was, a, that was a real bad play that when he tried to bluff the river. I mean, that, that was a, a bad play, but you've got to make the bad plays to realise. You know, now he's limped in again, just guessing that he, he fancies his post-flop game, that he wants to avoid making this, you know, an all-in fest as long as possible. Yeah, I understand, yeah. Maybe. maybe. And, you know, Prue... He is trying, he is trying to put as much play in this as possible. He just wants to just wants to get it level, just wants to claw back to about six, seven hundred thousand, I guess. Yeah, he may have even taken a view, Jesse, as, as we know, you know, we, we, we've watched the heat so far, the final, and uh, Safina's been very active, hasn't he? Right, you know, right from the off when he had a few chips, he's always been active, so he's probably took a view that if this guy ain't raising me pre-flop, he ain't got anything. I, mean, I, I wonder if Safina is, you know, he was great until he got the chip lead. Every time we've well, seen someone happen. get the yeah. chip lead. That does happen because all of a sudden you see the, the, the winning post again and um, you fall apart. It's like the, what do they call it, the the Roth, the Rosenstein, the curse of the Rosenstein diamond, you know that? Yeah, well, I don't know who the hell that is. <laughs> <laughs> you never heard about the curse of the Rosenstein diamond? No, no, it's Mr. No, no. Rosenstein. <laughs> no. That must be some weird book you've read. <laughs> All in. Wow, All in. wow, look at this, That's you see? Strong. Yeah. And that is really strong play. Yeah, he limped strong. to sh to shove to a steal yeah. with ace deuce. Yeah, I know that that is strong. I mean, I mean, you wouldn't have thought that, would you? You, you wouldn't have thought he was capable. That was what he was up well, to. Well, yeah, you would have early on. Yeah. yeah but he's just sort of uh, quieting down. But then, you know, he's he's picking his spots. He's come on nice, ain't he? <laughs> if you're winning, you shouldn't play the hands differently. You should play every hand the same, you know, right. whether you're stuck 20 grand or you're winning 50 grand. Yeah. And, and the same with tournaments, you should you should play it the same. Now we got another nice hand here. I, I wonder if if everybody is uh, nice. if it's it's easy to underestimate Safina because he doesn't look like a, a young internet uh, whiz kid, if you know what I mean. But obviously he qualified online. <laughs> you yeah, know, um, I mean he has got moves galore. There's Yevgeny Timoshenko. He's in the Premier League. Yep. He's, uh, I think, won more money this year in, in poker tournament caches than any person except the main event champion. This must be really weird for these two guys, Jesse. You know, to, you know, to look over your shoulder, see what's happening behind you, the guys that are in the, the, the Premier League, you know, enjoying their self, few drinks. Uh-oh. Uh-oh, this feels like trouble for Prue. Uh, I'm not so sure. Nice. Praise. I'm not so sure, Jesse. I can't see this guy stacking off with ace deuce. You think he's good enough not to go broke with this? Yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll do. 100. He's only got yeah, nine about. big blinds back. It's tough, but there's so much here at stake, isn't there? You know, the thing is, is second calling, is, is, is calling completely no, 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 out no, of the question. He, just, Jesse, don't even say that. Okay. Just forget that. Right? <laughs> okay. He's passing or, or he's moving in, and um, and that's it. But I favour the pass myself. It's, you've got Norpens for second here, yeah, and um, the winner gets the absolute lot. All in. Yeah. Cool. Cool. Showdown. And uh, he's going to be sick. He this is going to be. He's he's going to have some deuces. He's going to have some live deuces. And uh, 
He hasn't had to pull one out of his sock drawer Safina, yet. Safina, Jesse, can winning you it. Believe Safina. It? <laughs> yeah, can you believe Safina. it? Safina, <laughs> winning <laughs> it, man. They wrote him off three-handed. Oh, my God. Three-handed every, every step of the way. Well, that's it. He's cooked his goose, I guarantee this. Yeah. He knows it, this guy. A heart would do it. Almost anything. Nothing. Nothing. Oh! No, I don't, oh! no, I don't believe that. Oh, there's going to be a redraw. Oh, my gosh. Oh, my God. I mean, a little old deuce of clubs. That's impossible. Look how tense he is. Oh, oh, Jesse, I knew it. I knew it. I knew it. I knew it. Oh, 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 He's going to the Premier League. in the Premier League. What's going on? Bring on Helmuth. Bring on Negreanu. Get up, that bar. <laughs> Get up that bar. He will be the most famous Italian poker player in the world. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. <laughs> what, what a final table. You know, it just goes to show you, right? I mean, he's got some Jesse, you know, he's seen it more than everyone, man. <laughs> Look at this fella. What a dream. What a dream for this poker player. Yeah. Can you imagine the emotion, <laughs> the emotion <laughs> of the other guy, Jesse, when he sees the dose? <laughs> I mean, 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 I and uh, you know that all the other 15 qualifiers are going to be rooting him on. And there's Giovanni Rizzo. Just how badly these guys wanted it. I mean, forget about the money. This is this, this is, is the Premier League. Yeah. This is the Premier League. Miguel, commiserations on missing out on the Premier League seat. How do you feel about your play here over the last couple of days? Um, I've been playing well. I mean, the cards have, have fallen my way. I, I didn't get monster pre-flop, but I mean, after the flop, that's what matters. So uh, I feel I've been playing well. That's No regrets in play, so that's something. Well, maybe the last end I, I could have folded, but I, I mean, the, the, the blinds are going up like five minutes or so. There is like two or three ends more, and uh, is do suited was like kind of the top of my limping range. We have our first ever online qualifier who's able to play in the Premier League. Congratulations, Giovanni, you must be very excited. Today I have realized a great dream. When I won the satellite, I was very happy. I've always believed in winning, even as a young boy. And today the dream has come true. Tomorrow I will play the best poker players in the game. I hope to make a good impression. And who knows what tomorrow will bring. Congratulations, thank you so much. Ten players confirmed for Premier League Poker Season 4. They are the most famous faces in the game. They've won millions in tournaments, hold World Poker Tour titles, and WSOP bracelets. They are Poker's Elite. And now, for the first time ever, they're joined by an online qualifier, Giovanni Safina. So Giovanni Safina takes his place in the most exciting Premier League lineup yet. Next time, there's still one spot to be filled, and it'll be taken by one of the team party poker pros who've been battling it out in their own league for chips on their final table. See Poker Hall of Famer Mike Sexton and former Premier League star Ian the Razor Fraser in action next time. God, I thank you very much. The dragon flashes his tail once again. Maybe we can breathe more fire on me. Oh, well, we gotta gamble or something. Let's do it. All in. I haven't expected it to be easy, eh?